Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Now this is my 100th video, so I wanted to do something, you know, a bit different. Um, so in this video you're going to know, get to know a bit more about myself, and you get to know how I got started in the hobby. And before I start talking uh, about how I got into the hobby, I just want to tell you a bit more about myself. Uh, and I do apologise to the people that might already know this, uh, just bear with me. Um, so, I'm Mark Bolton, I'm the founder of the African Cichlid Hub. I'm 30 years old and I live in Wales which is in the UK. I'm a father to three children and I'm engaged to a wonderful woman who supports what I do in the hobby. Not only that, she understands the offside rule and that is uh, really, really hard to find. <laughs> now, um, enough about me, let's get on to talking about how I got started in the hobby. Now, I've been probably in the fish keeping hobby uh, on and off since I was around 12 years old. I started when I used to live um, in a place called Tannum Sands, Boyne Island, uh, in Queensland, Australia. We moved out there when we were six years old. I used to collect uh, fish like you know guppies from rainwater wells on a friend's farm, along with you know freshwater shrimps and yabbies. If anyone knows what a yabby is, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be quite surprised if you guys do. Probably most of the Aussies will. Um, not only was I collecting fish, I, I used to love going fishing as well. Basically, I, I would go fishing as much as possible, almost every day. If I wasn't playing, you know, sports like uh, football and you know cricket, and, you know, just to name a few. I also used to go snorkeling uh, with my mates. I think actually growing up in Australia got me hooked on keeping animals and fish, uh, you know, etc. I had a great childhood up in Australia with some great memories. Now, some years passed, then we moved back to Wales. I can't remember exactly when I started keeping fish again, but I know I started keeping tropicals. Um, I love the whole planted tank setup. You know, I still do now, but I haven't got all the time to focus more on you know the planted tank side of things. So I used to keep the you know the common fish, neons, uh, you know you know all the, all the types of tetras, the platys, angels, etc. You know, I would literally spend hours and hours just scaping, rescaping the tanks and tanks and tanks. It was like my own little bit of uh, nature, sort of, you know, in a, in a little small tank. Now, skipping some few, uh, a few years, probably going back to early 2008, I still had the planted tank. Um, it was a normal day, and I decided to go to my local fish shop to get some plants and have a chat with the, uh, you know, with the owner, you know, as you do when you go to your fish shop. Now, looking back, this day got me hooked on keeping African cichlids. Um, to be honest, I used to spend hours in my local shop, but never recognised. Um, that they used to sell African cichlids. I remember the the owner was really busy with some customers, so I went on a wander, you know, as you do, just looking at the tank. Just out the corner of my eye, uh, I noticed the tank. You know those big, huge quarantine labels that they put on tank. Basically, it read these fish will be ready in two weeks' time. Uh, I slid the label to one side and I, so I could have a look, you know, a better look at the fish. And it was a mixed African cichlid tank. You know, housing Venestis, run, uh, red zebras, yellow labs, the uh, Masonii, you know, and a few other species on Buna. You know, <laughs> I was like a crow, a, a crow. You know, when he's a crow sees like something shiny that they've got to have it you know I was, have it I was just fixated at the, on the tank um, probably another way to explain it I was like a fat kid <laughs> in, a, in a candy store I was fixated um, I didn't really have a clue what they were at the time let alone uh, how to pronounce the names or even how to look after them when the owner became available I grabbed his attention now I knew the African cichlids were in quarantine for a couple more weeks um, but I so I still reserved a dozen of them I was like oh I'll have the orange one you know the red zebra the yellow one the yellow lab the green army looking one which was obviously the uh, the Venestis I knew they were ready in a couple of weeks so I bought myself a Rio 180 you know it's only three foot 180 litres tanks I thought then you know it'd be more than enough to uh, to house them I obviously I didn't have a clue I set up the tank seed in a filter added a fish with some live bottle there uh, you know the bacteria um, I'm going to show you guys now a picture of my very first African cichlid tank. Um, I'm not ashamed to do this because I know I was a complete noob um, to African cichlids at the time. Okay, you probably had a good laugh at that picture. Uh, anyway, <laughs> because I've been brought up with around animals and fish, uh, I wanted to find out as much as possible 
uh, about these this type of fish what I was keeping so I joined a forum called Malawi forum it's a UK UK based forum there were lots of the members of that forum because as soon as I posted pictures of my tank and stock they quickly put me on the right path you know in regards to tank size food what African cichlids to keep so about a year goes by and I'm still researching these fascinating fish buying new species then I think you know it's time I obviously get a bigger tank now I ended up buying my first uh, six foot by two by two tank same size tank that I've got now um, there's I'll put a link on the, the screen now in the top right hand corner so you can click on that and open up another page but it's also in one of my playlists now the funny story about this tank a first six foot tank um, when I was planning on getting this tank I was back living with my parents after an old relationship ended you know great having my you know tea cooked washing uh, done and etc anyway I wanted this tank in my bedroom I measured up measured it all up and I was like yes I can fit it into my bedroom now I didn't take into consideration getting this bloody thing up the stairs I mean the joists were on the wrong angle for one uh, meaning you know they weren't weight bearing but not to mention the weight of the tank after it was filled with rocks and water I mean looking back now I have no idea how I looked all these factors um, I explained to my parents I was like don't worry about it you know it's going in my room my old man just looked at me and I remember him saying son you're mad and you know that was that so a week went by and we went to pick up the tank uh, me and my mate we arrived at the house went inside and I can remember just standing there after I've seen this tank and I was like holy shit there is no way this is going in my bedroom it's freaking massive uh, thing is I already paid a non-refundable deposit so we loaded it into the van and I hope for the best uh, got home knocked on the door my man said I was like hi mum got a slight problem the tank is massive and we'll and there's no way it can, it can go in my room basically it's gonna have to go in the kitchen you know she wasn't happy at all but I got my own way in the end but the funny thing was I, I would catch my parents staring at the tank you know like that kid from the portal guys film who just stared at the TV so I had the tank for just over a year and at that time I went from being a moderator to an admin uh, on the Malawi forum I was still researching African cichlid cichlids to you know at a, probably an addicted level uh, reading books like you know the Ad Honnings books using the internet you name it um, if it was about African cichlids I would read it uh, or watch it if it was videos or anything like that then um, I needed to sell that tank because um, we were moving house we had a baby on the way this is when I you know was with Joe for a while now I always knew I'd get another tank uh, just like I knew my hair would grow back one day hopefully you know eventually god I hope so um, had the kid and I bought the Rio 240 um, you know the one that I use in my latest videos until I got the latest tank now I'll be completely honest that was hands down the worst second hand tank I have ever bought not because of the manufacturer but because of the condition it was in I bought it uh, on, e uh, on eBay um, when I went to collect it it was a six hour round trip looking back I should have just made the guy give me the cash when we went to collect it but being honest you know because even though the tank was really badly scratched and stuff it was watertight and some of my best videos were made using that tank now um, let's talk a bit a little bit about YouTube and how I got started and on that side of things now I've had my YouTube account since 2006 I joined up to watch and rate uh, videos but I never thought um, back then I would be doing what I do now now don't get me wrong I, I uploaded a few videos on my tanks quite a few years back um, but my first how-to video was my how to strip African cichlids with fry aftercare uh, I had never done anything like that before normally um, I'm pretty shy if I'm not around friends or family but about after a month or so you know after the video was uh, uploaded I started to realize that I might be able to help people by making more you know helpful videos then in early 2011 I think it was yeah uh, I became a YouTube partner you know and continued making videos still researching and you know gaining more experience within the hobby now early May of this year my channel was growing quickly so you know I decided to launch a website and a forum not knowing you know how it would pan out now, I wanted to create a, a place um, where complete newbies to the hobby would 
would it be ridiculed for asking basic questions amongst having people from all around the world sharing their experiences and you know and knowledge now on June the 16th of this year with the help of Kevin who's now the admin um, on the African Cichlid Hub we, we launched you know the African Cichlid Hub website and forum you know I'm currently so happy with you know how the forum growing surpassed my expectations and how fast it's grown it's turning into a huge community full of really helpful people we started getting some really top sponsors on there who are offering some really good prizes for our photo of the month competition now um, if you're not a member on there I recommend you join up I'll put the link in the description and if you are a member on there you know exactly what I'm talking about now recently I set up another six foot tank and in all honesty I think well in my opinion I think it's my best setup so far and if you want to see a video about that tank um, I'll put a link on the description now you can either click on it it's completely up to you now my plans for the future are definitely to continue making helpful videos trying to keep you guys entertained and hopefully you know um, give you some tips along the way but my videos can mainly be aimed at the beginner now if I help some of the more experienced hobbyists along the way then I'll be very happy now my dream one day visit the lake I've had some quotes recently f f from some travel agents but with a newborn my priorities are sort of you know put to one side and I've got to take care of the family so I might need some sponsors to get behind me to get me out there um, but yeah that is a dream of mine I'm sure it's probably a dream of a lot of people who keep African cichlids now guys uh, I would like to thank you all you know the ones that support my content and hello to all my new subscribers and all subscribers alike people on Facebook Twitter uh, and on the forum uh, if you found the video entertaining please feel free to give it a good old thumbs up and maybe hit that share button doing this helps me grow the African cichlid hub community and as always guys, I want to thank you for watching uh, and I'll talk to you all very soon.